My name is Dr. Jean Chappell, and I'm the Dean of Health and Public Safety at Cincinnati State. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the division, I would like to welcome you to our team. The division is growing, large part due to the contribution of our dedicated adjunct faculty. As you are aware, many of our programs rely on adjunct faculty as the primary link between the professional community and our students. As experts in your field, you bring a wealth of knowledge and skills that enhance the learning opportunities for our students. Together with our full-time faculty, you make an incredible team of educators focused on quality instruction. As a result, our students graduate with highly marketable skills and enter into the workplace or continue their education at baccalaureate institutions with the best possible foundation. You represent an, an essential part of our first and perhaps our most important college strategic goal, student success. In this video, I'm going to share with you a couple of key points. Firstly, the role of the HBS division in the college and in the community. Discuss briefly the role of the division chair, associate deans, and the dean. And finally, I'd like to share some important processes essential to the orientation to Cincinnati State and the HPS division. The division of HPS is one of four academic programs within the college. The division is the administrative home for Associate of Applied Science programs and certificates in health, nursing, and public safety. We also have foundation courses in physical education and biology that are used by many students across the campus. Altogether, there are approximately 15 associate degree programs and 30 certificate programs. Faculty, both part and full time, also actively reach out into the community and extend their professional skills and talents. Through their service to the community and through the professional organizations, our faculty extend the reach of Cincinnati State. The hierarchy of the division begins with the faculty. Within each program, a faculty member has taken on the role of program or area chair. These individuals report to one of three associate deans in the division. These associate deans serve the broad areas of nursing, allied health, and public safety. Finally, these three administrators report to me as the division dean. Most issues, questions, and concerns can be addressed directly to your program chair. However, all of us are here to address your concerns and to help you when needed. Let's briefly discuss some important processes and tips that will help you navigate through your adjunct instructor duties. Firstly, let's talk about payroll and reimbursement. For adjunct faculty, pay periods are every two weeks. Withholding periods may vary depending on the semester, so it's very important that you discuss this with your program chair or area chair. The pay scale for adjuncts are also um, variable depending on your length of service. So please contact your program chair or representative within the division for their most current pay scale. At the beginning of each semester, you will be given a class roster. It is important that you verify the class roster at the beginning of every term for accuracy. If a student is in your class who is not on your class roster, it is important that that student go immediately to the registrar to correct any registration error. In regards to no-shows, no-show forms are du due during the third week of the semester. If you submit a student's name as a no-show, do not let that student back in your class on the third week of the class. You will receive an updated roster from the registrar's office after you submit your no-show report. Double check it against your attendance. If a student is reported as a no-show comes to your class, send that student immediately to the associate dean or representative. The associate dean will inform you about the status of the student. In the Division of Health and Public Safety, adjunct faculty sign in each day that they arrive for class and indicate what room you'll be meeting with your students. The sign-in sheet is located in the workroom of the division. Grading. Grading is a very important factor within for our student success. Submit your final grades via the web. Instructions and deadlines are placed in your mailbox at least one week before the semester ends. Please do not wait until the last hour to submit your grades. You may not be able to gain access from your home computer 
or our system may be down due to several people trying to log on at once. In case you are locked out or you cannot otherwise access the web page, you must submit your grade to the administrative assistant in HPS or her designee within the division. The office is open Monday through Thursday from 7.30 to 6 and Fridays from 7.30 to 5 p.m. Parking. Parking is available on campus. Use your search card to park in Lot A or either of the garages. There is no charge for parking if you use your search card. Within the division of HPS, faculty are also given mailboxes. This is located in our mailroom uh, workstation within the division. The bookstore. The bookstore is located at the ATLC building, lower level, room 001. Your program chair will contact you to order books prior to the term. An exciting benefit for adjunct faculty at Cincinnati State is the opportunity of tuition reimbursement. Adjunct instructors who have taught more than three semesters at Cincinnati State will qualify for a waiver of tuition for any classes taken at Cincinnati State during the semester in which they are employed. Dependent children and spouses will qualify for one half of a tuition waiver. All other fees, including lab fees, will be paid by the enrollee and not subject to waiver by the college. This is a lot of information, but I hope this orientation video has been helpful. I realize that not all of your questions can be answered by a video presentation. Please feel free to discuss your specific questions or concerns with your program chair, associate dean, or me. My office number is 513-569-1625. But if you would also like to schedule an appointment to talk to me, you may call my administrative assistant, Bridget Redding, at 513-569-1683. I'm here to help you succeed as an adjunct faculty. Through this role, you will be able to guide our students to be truly great at Cincinnati State. Thank you and have a great semester.